this year. From the newsroom, good night. Now, the news in the southeast with Roy Shepherd. Hello. Motorists in the Thames Valley have been warned to be on the lookout for bogus policemen who try to impose on the spot cash fines. The warning comes after a man was attacked for refusing to hand over £25 when he was accused of being drunk and disorderly. When I asked what I thought was an officer, when I asked to see his identification, well, he, he sort of like put his hands to one side, and next thing I know, I was struck about the face, as you can see, and uh, ended up on the floor. And uh, when I got up and come around to my senses, they were just they just shot off, they were gone. A demonstration took place outside a North London hospital today in protest at the employment of male gynaecologists. The Elizabeth Garrett Anderson Hospital in Marylebone has had only female gynaecologists for more than 100 years. The protesters claim a woman's right to receive treatment from a member of her own sex will now be reduced, and they've delivered a petition to 10 Downing Street. Damage caused by a massive fire at a paper mill in Kent has been estimated at more than £100,000. Thousands of tonnes of waste paper were destroyed in the blaze at Bowwaters Mill at Kemsley near Sittingbourne. Kent Fire Brigade say the area alight was the size of two football pitches. The cause of the fire is still being investigated. Police searching for the killer of the Kent taxi driver, Derek Bran, have issued an artist's impression of a man they want to interview. Mr Brand's body was found in November near the London-bound carriageway of the M20, close to the Hythe turn-off. He'd been battered to death. And London's tawny owls are being given an unusual new nesting area. It's right in the middle of Scotland Yard's riot training centre for new recruits at Hounslow in West London. The training ground is so well protected, it's hoped the owls, and perhaps kestrels too, will begin to breed there. Well, that's it from me for tonight. Look now at the weather forecast with Bill Jars. Very good night to you. A very good evening to you. Well, the promised change in the weather is now well underway. The latest satellite picture shows this great mass of cloud now coming onto the western side. It also shows a lot of showers, too, tucking in behind it. It's associated, of course, with this uh, cold front that's not only going to bring rain right in across the country through tonight and tomorrow. It's going to bring some pretty strong winds, too, with gales, I think, more particularly up in those northwestern parts. We pick up the rainfall at midnight tonight. Most of it you can see up in western, northwestern parts of Scotland. Becomes a little bit patchy down over the Lake District and then another great batch of rain further south, as you can see. And that's going to move its way southeastwards across all parts of the country through tonight. The rain clearing away from the southeast around uh, 9, 10 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning. And then a drier interlude for a while, but showers already coming into the northwest and they'll be packing into these western sides by the middle of the day and then pushing their way right across the country. So then, uh, temperatures, well, that's what it's going to be like at the end of the night. It's still a bit on the cold side in the east, but then with the winds starting to freshen up now, and they will be getting up to 15, 20 miles an hour even on the eastern side, with gales up in the northwestern part, the temperatures then lifting up through the night. Starting off dull with some rain in the southeastern part uh, in the morning, then a drier slot behind, but already right from the word go, a lot of showers up in those northern areas. This is the best bit to be in the morning, dry with some sunshine. The rain then clearing away from the southeast during the course of the morning, then a brighter spell of weather, a dry spell of weather for a while too, but by the middle of the day the showers will be pushing their way into the west, and then showers almost anywhere tomorrow afternoon. I don't think there'll be too many though on the eastern side, most of them will be up in the north and on the western side, heavy with hail and thunder, perhaps even some snow up on the mountains. Temperatures up to about 8 Celsius, much as today, but it's not going to feel particularly warm. It's going to be another windy day, the westerly winds getting up to gale force, I think, particularly up in the north. Well, that's just about it from me. A very good night to you. Forget the winter and come into the warmth on BBC One when Clive James delivers a series of animated postcards from his favourite haunts. In Rio, he learns some fundamental truths. And when he came to the city of San Sebastian of the River of January, called Rio de Janeiro, Christ said, Lo, behold, and keep one hand on your wallet. I liked a lot about Rio. It scared me half to death, but I felt alive there. It wouldn't be a bad place to grow old, as long as it didn't happen overnight. A postcard from Rio, delivered by Clive James, tomorrow at 9.30 on 1.
Now, back to tonight and a film that's guaranteed to have you on the edge of your seat. Paul Newman is the architect, Steve McQueen the fire chief in The Towering Inferno.